sits on the Rosenbauer Commander chassis. Our cab is set up currently for seating for four. We do have the option and space to put a fifth in, but with our staffing needs, we would never have more than four people on this truck. Some things I'd like to highlight, uh, we used a bigger bus style, style mirror uh, to allow our drivers to see the corners, ditches of roads, uh, get a farther reach than the standard smaller door mounted mirrors. In the driver's compartment, we try to keep everything centrally located. The ability for the driver to turn lights on and off, as well as the officer side on and off. Uh, we highlighted up front, we got a giant brow light. Our two go lights as well. This mirrors our, our current Rosenbauer, our Agent 401. Lighting is really big for us, especially out in the country. Our go lights swivel, they help us find addresses, look in fields, look on top of homes. So as we approach, car accidents into a pole, if we're approaching a smoke investigation or something reported to be out in the field. Those lights swivel, they allow us to pinpoint the light where we need it and get our operators where they need to be as quick as they can. In the back of the truck, we went with somewhat of a larger than normal cab space area, allows our crews to have space. They can get dressed, sit down, be ready to go. We keep some EMS compartments again. Like I said, this does have the utility of being our primary vehicle if we need it. So all of our rescue, EMS, any additional equipment, we still have cabinetry for that. So uh, we, we put our firefighters forward facing in this truck to give them the best view and then safety. So as they arrive, our, all of our trucks have David, or all of our engines have David Clark headsets in them, allowing communication to free flow between the crews front and back pass that information, they can hear radio traffic. Something different we did on this truck is we did not enclose the pump. Our current truck is enclosed, uh, but with this being a tanker, we kind of left it open. Allows us for more utility uh, in, in clear view as we are doing multitasking with this truck, hooking up, drafting. We got our task force tips, five inch intake uh, with an indicator. Kind of everything is meant to be in view, in sight, high color. Uh, with our in control here, allows us to control it. We can see it from far away. We've got water gauges each side, front and back, or in the back as well. And then we've got the standard pump handle gauge here. So we're able to see. We didn't go with speed lays on this truck. We just got cross lays. We have two inch and three quarter, uh, and then a two inch uh, attack line. This allowing the crews as they arrive to select what they need, plus have a backup line available. One unique thing, with this truck being a single axle of 2,000 gallons, normally you sacrifice a lot of storage space or cabinetry for that water. Uh, we were able to, with the All-American team and Rosenbauer, come up with the concept to leave quite a bit of space. Even with the equipment on here, it still leaves us space again to be that utility vehicle and run our primary truck out. Plenty of room down here for appliances, uh, operators, gear. All-American did a great job for us mounting everything up. Again, everything in sight easy to find for our crews on the on the scene was the goal with this truck leaves us plenty of space we try to maximize everything inside here we mirrored exactly what's on our current truck scba bottle storage uh, with being limited manpower we do kind of do more than one bottle so we have uh, rehab bottles here or replacements so we can get right to work this compartment again will, will be filled with uh, rescue gear anything else we need but we maximize as much as we could, single shelf or bottom shelf. In the back here, this is kind of where we're gonna store our primary equipment for extinguishers, our foam pack, kind of our, our water or hose accessories, allows us plenty of space. We'll have saws up here if needed, uh, chimneys, chains, additional appliances for the back of the tanker. There is no foam system on this truck, so that's where the utility of the foam pro here helps out, allows us to connect to a line and still have foam on this truck. The back of the truck, again, visibility, like always, to keep people safe, keep people aware. Normally on these trucks, the hose bed's very high. We were able to kind of find a marriage between space, height, and get the hose bed where it needs to be. With the easy climb ladder here, allows our crews to get up, pull things off. Unique thing we do with this truck, and this, this is a direct tank fill with the fireman's friend. So no matter what, it's gonna flow water in. When they stop, the clapper valve will shut, so there's no lost water again. Without hydrants, water is definitely premium. 
This will house back here kind of our rule hitch or how we like to set up on fires. This truck primary will be on the road or at the end of a driveway. We can lay out and kind of set up our own hydrant system or flow so we can continue tankers up and down the road and we don't have a bottleneck, put everything together seamlessly and run those tanker shuttles back and forth. And here we've got our ladders, pike poles, a single hard suction. The other section of hard suction is right here. So again, maximizing every inch that we could on this truck to allow us to have compartment space and water storage. We're really happy with that attic ladder as well. Soon to come, we'll have a quick attack nozzle off of here. It goes to the two and a half. We'll carry 600 feet of five inch and a thousand of three inch. So that allows us to again, be utility for in a rural area and then in the urban uh, subdivision area, we can work as well. This compartment will continue to follow our uh, saws, fans, anything else we need. So we'll have uh, a chain here, a, ch a chainsaw, a circular a cutoff saw, TS saw, whatever you want to call it. And then we'll have a battery operated fan. Over here, we'll fill the complements that go with that. We elected to put an oil dry system on here. So this is a hopper, holds it. Rosenbauer was able to do this for us. We'll have a couple collapsible bags fill this up for roadway accidents when it's needed. We kind of left this blank leaving Rosenbauer when it went to Washington Courthouse to All-American. Kind of told them what we wanted. The team down there was able to, with the pack mounts, mount these tools, maximize space again. We did a hard aluminum board so we had the utility and weren't drilling into the body or tank body. Uh, so this really, really helped us come up with what we needed. We kind of just dropped the tools off, sent them some pictures, and they got exactly what we wanted. Maximize the space, put things where they were. We got spe specific holders for like our bolt cutters, our axe, so it's not just generic. Everything's fairly well secured. And then this compartment will house additional equipment. Again, a lot of this truck on a daily basis will stay with open space because it's got the utility of being a primary out truck or if it ever needed to, to go anyplace else, it, it has room to put additional equipment. If we ever had a disaster or needed to take more stuff with us, water long, long uh, scenes or anything like that, this leaves the space to put additional gear on manpower. The in charge side of our, our pump over here is about the same. The addition of a large diameter discharge, again, being a tanker, 2,000 gallons, or operating in the suburban devel developments, this allows us to pass water to a ladder truck or pump into an FDC or a sprinkler system, I should say, uh, which really helps us out to move water quickly. The name of the game when we're doing this is try to get water off, and then if this becomes a tanker shuttle uh, with our mutual aid departments, this is the fastest way to get it off. Again, the intake, we'll get three inch intake able to get all of our hydrant wrenches and accessories there back to the other side of the cab it's about the same inside the cab if you want to take a look in there we've got our rip pack mounted we've got five foot uh, d handle new york hooks so all the accessories our firefighters would need coming off for the primary uh, attack are, are inside the truck their hose is close by all of our married irons mounted up there's flashlights again the cab is well lit top lights go from red to white allowing for nighttime operation or white lights if we ever need them uh, when we're on scene. Plenty of space if we did uh, have to store a family or two families. We've got room in here to keep people sheltered and out of the area if we're on a rescue or a car accident. Coming up to the insured side, we mirrored our, our current engine rescue again a Rosenbauer on a commando chassis. The officer has a tool of how to get mounted up here. They also have the ability to turn the seed lights on and off. They have their own go light headset the radios over here for them again with the one piece windshield allows them to have a clear view communicate with their, their driver their needs as we come to the front of the truck uh, unlike most tankers we did go with the larger bumper it's almost a rescue style with that increased space has allowed us to keep 100 feet of three inch and then we'll have a trash line inch and a half or inch and three quarter rubber line up here for mop up but what we can do here is this is a, a two and a half inch discharge which will go on our three inch and we can supply directly into our current engine rescue 
So the thought of the truck was that the front end would supply and the back, the back end would receive water. Uh, so that, that's the important part here is we're gonna have a consistent flow, water in, water to the tank and water out to the fire ground.